How's it hanging, Zebra Sexuals? This is Zebra here bringing you a Roulette Royale match that I had against that Blue Death, or the Blue Death. Um, this is a Roulette Royale, or in other words, in English terms, is a Pokedex Roulette. But, um, yeah, we did a Pokedex Roulette. I'm also just uploading, just because I needed to upload an actual battle recording, and also just to say that, you know, the Ruber Tournament is going on. Brackets are going to be in the description. It is going on. It's been going on. I got a few matches in so far. I got a few buys. Um, but if you're going to be giving your opponent a buy, also message me too, so I have clarification that opponent is just not telling me that, you know, you just straight out gave him a buy. But we got a Pokedex Roulette going on, or Roulette Royale, and uh, this is, like I said, against the Blue Def. Um... I got a stun fisk lead, he got a seeking lead. Um, we play with NFE's on, that's why I have a Cleffa. Cleffa's fucking awesome. I'm gonna wreck shit with Cleffa, but in reality, not really. So, let's go ahead and get this on with. I got a. Well, I got Cleffa, I figured might as well make it a special defensive wall. But a lot of his guys are physical attackers, aside from the Sea King. So, I have my Stun Fist in here. And Stun Fist is a physically defensive wall. I'm going to go for the Yawn. I figured maybe he'd probably want to go for Agility, thinking I'd want to switch. I know Sea Kings get Lightning Rod, so I don't really want to go for the Discharge, because that kind of sucks. Um, he went for Ice Beam, probably predicting, like, you know, Grovile or something to come in. But uh, I'm going to go for Yawn again, figuring that he'd want to switch. That way I could keep the pressure, thinking that he has to actually sleep fought or something. So, I'm going to switch out, thinking that he's just going to want to go straight for the Earthquake or a Dynamic Punch or something, because he said he wanted to bring a Unreleased Dream World ability, and I figured, you know, this thing would be the one with the Unreleased Dream World ability, and that'd be no guard. But, turns out the thing is has Iron Fist, because he missed Sap, and he fucking hits me with Deep Punch and confuses me. And... I predict the switch and go for pursuit, and I'm like, fuck! So I get confused and I hit myself, and now that Golurk is asleep, and possibly it's gonna come back and bite me in the ass. So, I see Matane coming in, I'm figuring Meteor Mash or Bullet Punch is coming to take me out. I figure might as well go into Stun Fist, because Stun Fist can take the hit and be able to, you know, hit him with an Earth Power or Discharge to paralyze him. But, from the Meteor Mash, he does get the static off. I get the static off on him, which is great. You saw how much that damage that Meteor Mash did, because resisted and all that stuff. I'm thinking he might be running more defensive sets, since he does have, like, Stealth Rock and stuff on it. So, I'm figuring, okay, well, Earth Power is doing a decent amount of damage, since I am just pure defense and pure H, uh, full H, max HP and defense. But, I'm going to keep going for Earth Power. He's going to bring in Sea King, and I'm like, okay, um, I could probably take a Hyper Beam and be in decent shape. Um, but, uh, it turns out that he's going to miss. I'm going to hit him with another Earth Power. So, I'm like, okay, now that I see he's going for Hydro Pumps, and he's not really predicting. Uh, so, Well, he doesn't really want to overpredict. He just wants to go for his strongest move, and he has Life Orb. So, I figured I could live a Hydro Pump, take it decently, and go for the rest. But no, because Sea King is such a fucking monster, it's going to just obliterate me completely. So, I'm going to bring in Pokey, Scarf Scizor, I mean, not Scizor, Beedrill, and I see how much uh, Stealth Rock has done this, uh, this Beedrill, and I figured I probably can't get another switch in, so I'm just going to side lock myself in X Scissor, since I am in Swarm. And it should do a decent amount of damage to anything, and it actually does a decent chunk to, uh, Flareon, considering it is, you know, probably specially defensive. But he goes for the Heal Bell, that wakes up the I Can Fly, which is this Golurk, which is like, fuck. So, um, now he's going to withdraw straight into, uh, Golurk, because Golurk can obviously take, uh, you know, X Scissors like a champ, and set up on me all day. I figured, you know, he went for Deep Punch, he might not have, like, he might not have, like, a really setup move, he might just go for, like, the Stone Edge, maybe, but he has Rock Polish, and now I'm kind of like, fuck, because this kind of outspeeds my whole team. Um, he goes for the Stone Edge, that's going to obviously take me out, and it's going to hit, um, so, fuck, that thing's dead. So here, I decided to bring in Matang, since I'm looking at the amount of HP he has. I am adamant. I am max HP, max attack. I go for the bullet punch. He lives with the, what the fuck is that? He lives with like a smidgen shit. I'm like, what the fuck, Matang? You suck. You suck so much cock. And then I die to a fucking earthquake. So now, he dies. It's a double down. And I believe I have a... I send out Cleffa. No, I send out Vegan Power, which is uh, Grovile, which uh, is a Focus Ash set, uh, set with Unburden, but that kind of gets nullified because it's a Stealth Rock, so it's like, I'm not... Unburden's not going to get activated for me. Um, I'm not going to be able to take a Brave Bird. I'm going to go for a Hidden Power Rock, see how much damage it does, um, since this is like a special attacking uh, Grovile. But, um... It does a decent amount, but uh, I figured might as well send in Cleffa. 
fodder it for Brave Bird damage and just have him die on recoil. Maybe Cleffa can live. Maybe, maybe, maybe Eek, Sleeping Face. Nope, nope, Cleffa died. So Cleffa's going to end up dying to uh, Dodrio. And all I really have left, I have like a lot of grass types on my team. I have Vileplume. I think I'm left with Vileplume. I'm like, alright Vileplume, you're going to put the team on your pedals, on your back, and you're going to win this game for me. So he's going for Debon, and I'm like, okay, well Debon, I, I went for Giga Drain. Giga Drain obviously isn't going to knock him out, but um, it's going to do a decent amount of damage. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm liking that damage. I'm, you know, I'm getting health back and, and stuff and being in good shape. So I'm like, alright, cool. But now he brings in Flareon, so I'm going to go for the Toxic on the Switch. Figuring, you know, Venom Shock might do a little bit more damage, maybe. But, um, you know, just put that thing on a timer and Giga Drain the fuck out of it. So, uh, Flareon's in here. It's toxic. I'm like, okay, I'm specially defensive. I could possibly take a Lava Plume since this thing probably really isn't invested into, uh, special attack. And then he burns me, and I'm like, okay, well, there goes my survivability right out the fucking window. So, I'm gonna go for Venom Shock with the toxic boost. It's not gonna be enough to... It's not gonna be doing a lot of damage. I can't really Giga Drain this thing, and that's gonna kinda suck. I do have Aromatherapy, which is great, but... It's not going to really benefit me much in the end. So he goes for Wish this turn. I'm going for Venoshock just to kill this thing um, and just take him out. Well, it doesn't take him out, but it brings him pretty close because Toxic is going to take it out and that thing's going to die. So now he's left with Glade. And I'm like, all right, Glade has to attack me. You can't just debond the whole time. So I'm like, I think I do have a Spec Spore on this because we were do doing unreleased Dream World abilities. And I was like, okay, maybe a Fex Spore can activate and I can get paralyzed while I Aromatherapy. Get the paralyzation off on him or sleep or something. But nope, don't get it. I do Aromatherapy, but I'm not going to be able to take another Night Slash, which kind of sucks. So I was banking on some Fex Spore hacks, possibly putting him to sleep, burning him or um, paralyzing him, which would have been great. But that's going to be the game. Uh, he's going to take me out with a Night Slash. I believe that might have been a 1 0. Or, yeah, that was a 1-0. It was a good game. It was a lot of fun. You know, Roulette Royales are a lot of fun. I, I had fun. It was enjoyable. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this match. Um, there's, uh, you know, the Ruber tournament going on right now and stuff, and uh, that's going on. Matches aren't due till you know, th uh, Thursday, next Thursday, uh, January 5th. Um, if you, I think if you don't get a hold of your opponent by the second then send me a message and then i'll message I'll, I'll see what i can do but um other than that just try and wait for over the weekend maybe i don't know because new year's and all that stuff but whatever um i got a few matches in but a lot of matches aren't done yet so uh just let me know how that goes for you guys just leave a comment on this video or any other video or private message me uh you know results and stuff um, and if you do record and uh, narrate your own video, uh, just uh, post that as a video response to one of my videos or whatever, and I'll be sure to watch that. And if so, I'll probably post it on the channel, so that will be cool, because I want to see some cool Ruber matches. So um, that's going to be it for me, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and uh, if I don't see you... if I'll probably have a video up before New Year's, but, uh, you know, if I don't, uh, just, I hope you all have a great happy, uh, great New Year, and, you know, welcome 2012 with, you know, open arms of some sort, but I'll probably have a video up by tomorrow, so that's going to be it for me, guys. I'm rambling. There's other video links like a live narration and my uh, my trading card game collection that are also been posted. All those links will be in the description. You know the drill. I'll catch you Zebra Sexuals later. Cheers.